Esther, you're in a relationship. Have you ever left someone behind? Yeah, and I think it's unfair when people get mad at you for it yeah. because <laughs> tricking someone into falling in love with me is a full-time job. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree. I have Pers bad breath, persistent nipple hair that needs to be plucked every three days. I have to fake a pregnancy scare like once a month just to keep things exciting. <laughs> I can't meet you for coffee. Like I can't call you on your birthday. I'm sorry. Um, Chris, what that's about how you? I, I just, that's how I weed people out of my life. I just get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have like hangers on, I get a girl, and I'll be like, yo, sorry, man. She's like you, but I get to have sex with her. Yes, I haven't seen you in three years. Right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I've been one of those people left behind. I, all my girlfriends in high school got boyfriends before me. They all did stuff with boys before me. I remember the first friend to give a blowjob when she told me, I started sobbing. <laughs> I was just like, I've lost you, you know, and I, I really, I think she's still down there. It's, I, I really felt like it was such a betrayal and I actually cried the first time I gave a blowjob, but it was, um, it was just cause he fell asleep like right after. Um, seriously happened, but uh, it's a, it's a serious issue. And, but luckily guys, there's an organization out there that can really help. Every year over 5.2 million Americans find love and 1.7 million single friends are left behind. Hi, I'm Nikki Glazer. Please say that you'll be the answer for a BFF, a best friend forgotten, a stray who needs your companionship after being abandoned by a friend who chose a sexual relationship over one that was based on Crunchwrap Supremes and Big Lebowski quotes. These innocent creatures have no one with whom to share their lives, no one to give them rides to their DUI classes, no one to send pictures of their giant shits, they keep calling shotgun, but to whom? This is Jared. He's 30. He loves foosball and craft beer. His best friend Tom recently left him after meeting Rachel, a sexy spin instructor with a rich dad. Since then, they've had three awkward phone calls where Tom keeps pushing back lunch to a day that works for both of them. Call now and you'll receive a photo of your best friend forgotten, along with a tote bag because there's always a tote bag. Tom said Tuesday. No, he said maybe Tuesday. But he used the party emoji. With your help, friends like Jared will never have to spend another New Year's Eve watching Titanic with their Aunt Jackie, or ever leave the house wearing a shirt like this. Seriously, is this a dog's blanket? Yeah.